Some big news if you were a last minute shopper for Thanksgiving, you're going to need to listen up. You'd want to hear this. We have everything you need to know. Thanks to the one and only Stu Leonard Jr., CEO of the Stu Leonard supermarket chain. He is joining us from a store right there in Norwalk, Connecticut. Happy Thanksgiving, Stu. Thanks for being with us this morning. Hey. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody listening and to you too. How are you today? Thank you. We're doing well this morning. All right. I want to ask you about a major trend. It sounds like you're seeing there at the store. It looks like folks are getting ready for some bigger gatherings this year. Yeah, well, today's a big day. We've been working really hard at Stu Leonard to get ready for it today. Well, you know what happened this year? We went from this size turkey last year during COVID. And what you're seeing now, we went to this size turkey right now. So the gatherings have definitely gotten bigger this year. You got the big bird there. So if folks are these, these last minute types of which I am one, are they gonna be able to find one of those birds if they come into the store? Well, one of the, you can, we have plenty of turkeys. Okay, so don't worry about that. You're probably not gonna get the size you want. It's gonna be bigger than you want because you know, a lot of the smaller ones have sold out, sold out already. But you know what, uh, I'd also like to mention, you don't have to be too nervous about the cost because this is the most inexpensive meal of the year right here. $2 a pound range type turkey. You know, you're paying a lot more for that for your rib roast at, at the holidays coming up or even your 4th of July barbecue. Relax, it might cost you $1 per head, $2 per head for the guests you have around the Thanksgiving table. Yeah, when you divide it up by everybody around there, it ends up being a, a, a relatively inexpensive meal. But, I mean, we've been talking about this. Inflation is a big problem. Families are paying a lot more this year. So are, are there things, if they're making these last-minute lists, that they might expect to pay more for this year? Well, you know what? A, a couple of the big rock star items is, you know, the center-cut meats. Like, for instance... Here's a, a ribeye, okay? So if you go to any of the great New York City steakhouses and stuff, this is like the steak to get, okay? This one steak right here costs as much as this whole turkey. So the meat prices, especially for those center cut, New York strip, ribeye, porterhouse, those have gone up in price. But if you want to have a hamburger, it's the same price as last year. We haven't raised our prices on like butter, we haven't raised it on milk. We haven't raised it on a lot of the staple items that the moms and dads need. And, and um, you know, with our farmers right now, what we did was we really just split any price increase with them. We're trying to absorb as much as we can and make it as easy as possible for the customer. You're not going to get sticker shock this year at Thanksgiving. <laughs> that is good news. Stu, i got to tell you, you've got us all smiling here because my friends at the desk warned me that you would hold up a, a giant steak at some point during this interview. So you have lived up to your reputation. i got to ask I... you. <laughs> oh, I we're cuddling meats. <laughs> the embrace. <laughs> okay. hey. Stu, I, before I, before, I don't want to interrupt your cuddle session right there, but for folks who are making that last-minute list, you got a final tip for any of these last-minute shoppers out there. There. Well, you know, I, I think the the first thing is is that um, really be thankful today. Uh, you know, we're caught up in some turkeys. There's a lot of people that that can't be eating turkey today. They they're, they're running a tough time. Um, we got through this tough COVID year here with, you know, the vaccines are back. I think we should really just sit back, forget about the dollar or two it cost you sit around and look and say how lucky we are to have our families together um, and and let's be thankful for where we are in America today. Yes. Excellent words on this Thanksgiving. Thank you so much and happy Thanksgiving to you, your family and all your shoppers there. Quit. And nobody snuggles Thank with a ribeye like much. Stu. Enjoy <laughs> your Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.